15,000 Minnesota nurses have voted once again to authorize a strike. In September, when the nurses walked off the job, hospital systems had to fill that void. Nurses say that they have now worked for nearly a year without a new contract, and they say they're tired of being overworked, underpaid, and understaffed. Meanwhile, they say hospital CEOs are still taking in multi-million dollar salaries. Now, the hospital systems say that's not true. And the wage increases, among other things, nurses are asking for are unaffordable as they've lost hundreds of millions of dollars in recent years. In part, they blame the pandemic. Nurses said yesterday that things need to change. When we came back from our last strike in September, we hoped our hospital executives would hear us about the urgency of the crisis in our hospitals. But since then, things have gotten worse and not better. So we now enter that 10 day cooling off period where both sides will continue to negotiate the hospitals and the nurses. If they don't come to an agreement, the earliest the nurses could strike is December 11th. Now we will hear more from the union that's coming up on our news at noon. One of the hospital groups, Alina Health, has already commented, releasing a statement saying, we are deeply disappointed by Minnesota Nurses Association's choice to issue a strike notice when our community is experiencing a triple threat of, of illnesses, influenza, RSV, and COVID and before they have exhausted all available options to reach an agreement.